Hey, how is it going everyone? My name is Norton. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you something which Rockstar hid away from us because they have in fact downgraded the Hydra Jet, which was released just a few weeks ago with the Heist DLC. But before I get into this video, let's go for that goal of 1,000 likes in the ratings below. It does help me out. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. But with that said, I'm going to roll straight into this clip from Trailer 2, which was released in 2012. That's three years ago almost. And in this trailer of Grand Theft Auto 5, we notice a small clip of the Hydra in action. So I'm going to let that roll and I'll get straight into the video. So what you saw there was the Hydra taking out a helicopter. Nothing special, nothing amazing, and we can do that in Grand Theft Auto Online already. However, something about this Hydra came across our mind, and that is that the Hydra we saw in the trailer three years ago shot two missiles at once, and the Hydra we can use in Grand Theft Auto now only shoots one missile at once. Now, of course, you can already shoot two missiles, both a second after each other, but you can't shoot them at the same time. And, of course, if you do shoot two missiles at the same time, it'll pretty much destroy anything in its path, even those insurgents as well. However, something which Rockstar changed, and for whatever reason they decided to, resulted in the Hydra only shooting one missile at a time instead of two. Now, personally, like I said, two missiles would make it almost undefeatable against anything it shoots at, but it just strikes me why Rockstar would do this downgrade. I mean, yes, the Hydra is still a very overpowered air vehicle we have in the game. It is one of the most, if not the most overpowered vehicle we have in Grand Theft Auto Online at the moment. However, it's just very random as to why Rockstar would do this. We also compare this to San Andreas as well, and not much has changed. But this Hydra jet has definitely been downgraded. And this also sparked up some speculation in my head on whether they've downgraded other stuff in the Hydra jet or other stuff on other vehicles to come or even in the game already. Now, it's not unusual for game companies and game developers to change things as games progress or even before the release date. Even Rockstar took out missions and clips and things you're meant to actually do in the game before the release and even days before the release. They did it for previous games. Other game companies have done it. It is nothing special. I'm sure you guys can come over the list as well of games you play which have been downgraded on certain things. Even Call of Duty nerf and buff weapons upon almost every update they decide to bring into their game. So it's no surprise that Rockstar would do similar things in their game as well upon other developers as well. But it just strikes me, would it be better having two missiles fired at a time? Do you think it'd be too overpowered? Do you think it would ruin the game? Or do you think there's no difference at all? And do you want these two missiles shot at a time? Because as you can see here, only one will be shot at each time, just like we see with other jets in the game as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Does this annoy you? Does this not mind? Do you, are you not bothered? Or do you want these two missiles in the game? Or do you agree with Rockstar as well? Do you think they made a good call about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you know anything else which has been nerfed, buffed, or anything like that in Grand Theft Auto 5, then be sure to let me know in the comment section below. But guys, my name is Nort. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for the latest Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. But guys, I'll see you all next time.